What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and you're here with Justin. If you're new to the channel, welcome. In this channel we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related. My experiences, opinions, and certain topics. But most importantly, my journey towards getting tattoos and working towards my bodysuit. Now if you're new to the channel, go and subscribe. I got a new tattoo planned in the near future. You don't want to miss that or any other future content. So you know, come on, join the community. But let's get to today's video. So like I just mentioned, I have a tattoo planned very soon, which really got me thinking. And that is, what are the essential items that I bring to my tattoo appointments? And what are the essential items that you guys should be bringing to your next one? I got my trusty backpack filled with all the essential items that I'm going to be bringing to my next appointment. These items are really going to help make your life better, make the artist's lives better, and make the whole experience of that tattoo a lot better. Let's get into the backpack. Let's get to it. Let's go. So we're going to start going through my backpack and we're going to see all the essential items that I bring to a tattoo appointment. You definitely should bring all these as well with you. The last thing you want to do in a tattoo appointment is be unprepared, especially in very long tattoos. Like we're, when we're reaching like seven hours and plus, those are extremely long and you definitely want to be prepared the best way possible. We're going to hop into the first one that I have for you guys. We're going to go into the bag right now and we're going to see what it is. So first one is your wallet, it holds a lot of essential things for you. The first one is an ID. You're gonna need an ID to sign for the tattoo. If you're under 18, you're definitely gonna need permission from a parent or guardian. And if you're older than 18, you're gonna have to show that ID to show that you were of age to sign on your own for the tattoo. The next one in that is your money. You're gonna wanna bring your money. That's the one thing that's gonna be paying for your tattoo. Whether you're paying for it by a credit card, most tattoo shops prefer and most artists prefer having cash on hand. And you know, it's always great to have a little extra, always be prepared, you know, it might take a couple more hours than expected if you're paying by the hour, or you know, you just have that tip and you wanna give that guy a really good tip because he did an awesome job. Always have cash on hand. Now the next one I got for you guys is another easy one to bring, but it definitely helps out in the whole process of the tattoo and that is reference photos. You definitely wanna bring reference photos to your artist and show them what you want. I printed out a couple of reference photos here. You know, maybe I'm giving a hint into my what my next tattoo is. These are my reference photos that I'm gonna bring and show him. And I would definitely do this as well, is save a photo on your phone of what that reference photo is as well. Just because you're able to send those photos directly to them sometimes and they can play around with that exact photo that you actually want to use. The next one I want you guys to bring, and this is a definite must, it is bringing an extra pair of clothes. See, an extra pair of clothes is something that you definitely need and I'll explain why. You don't want ink getting on the clothes that you have. You're gonna go to a shop, you're probably dressing a little nicer. That ink is definitely gonna get onto the clothes in some way or another. It finds its way of getting onto clothes that you like. Believe me, wear clothes that you know you don't care about too much in terms of them getting ink on, getting dirty, getting ruined. The next point I have for clothes especially is also, if I'm getting my shoulder done, I'm not gonna wanna go and wear a three quarter or a full sleeve shirt or even a t-shirt cause then you gotta roll it up and it sometimes rolls down. So the best thing to do in that case is bring a tank top of some sort. You really gotta think ahead and know if you're getting that tattoo in a certain spot, think about what you're gonna be bringing. And then one more thing I got for you guys, make sure you bring it. Bring an extra pair of socks. Your shoes smell already. You wear them all the time, especially in summer when a lot of people get their tattoos and what smells when you take them out your socks. And a lot of people like to take their shoes off when they're getting a tattoo, especially in a long tattoo, just because it's more comfortable. I do it all the time, but I make sure to bring another pair of socks. I don't have to worry about him thinking they smell and it just makes everybody more comfortable in the whole situation there. So I just mentioned the socks and we are talking about smell. What else don't you want to be smelling like? So you don't want to be smelling like shit. Your breath and your BO. So we're going to go and grab a couple of things. So the first thing you want to definitely bring is deodorant. Put it on beforehand and, and just in case, leave it in your bag. You never know when you might need it again. No artist wants to be around somebody that has BO. And then also gum too. You guys are close to each other and sometimes. And if you got smelly breath, they're going to smell it. You're just going to look like an idiot. So 
Always have some gum on your hand just in case. So when you're getting a tattoo, you definitely want to make sure one, your blood sugar is up and two, you have food in you. I would recommend before getting a tattoo is definitely have a good meal. But during your tattoo, you definitely want to bring snacks and a good drink. So we are going to get chips. They're one of my favorite. And then also I like to bring water, but another big one I like to drink as well is Gatorade. The electrolytes, the sugar in it just help you so much in keeping your blood sugar up. I had my mom, she almost passed out one time. It is not a fun experience. You go white as a ghost and you run the risk and some chances of not being able to finish the tattoo because of that reason. It's always good to have these with you, whether whatever one you want. Let me know in the comments what you guys actually bring to your tattoos. What kind of snacks do you like? My favorite ones are Fuzzy Peaches, Gatorade, Canada Dry is another one. So those are mine. Let me know what your favorite snacks to bring to a tattoo are. Next I got for you guys, we are gonna go in and grab a book. Now a book is one of many different entertainment options you have to choose from. I know a book is a little hard to do sometimes, especially with the pain and it's just hard to focus on reading. I've tried it my best to read sometimes and it just, it doesn't work. But in that other case, what you guys can do is guys bring your phone. Your phone is your best friend. Bring an iPad too if you want a bigger screen. You can download movies onto there. You can go on YouTube. You can go on your music, Apple, Spotify. You have so many different options to choose from. Sometimes it's just great to have a movie playing or listening to your music to really just put you in that zone and kind of forget about it and just enjoy the experience a lot more. The next one I have for you guys, bring a pair of headphones. Now you can bring headphones over the ear, in the ear. You can bring uh, AirPods, bring whatever, but just make sure that it's quiet it to yourself and it's kind of to you it uh, it's less distracting to him and you're kind of uh, put in your own world make sure you bring an extra long cable to charge your phone so why I say extra long is because sometimes the outlets aren't close to where the chair is be prepared if it's a little further away you have that extra length in the cable to kind of reach if not you know there is another way around it and that is bringing a power bank. These are great because now you don't have to worry about that cord being not long enough and you can literally just plug it in, keep it right by your side and you don't have to worry. Now, am I done? Not a chance. I still got quite a bit more for you guys and you're definitely gonna, why do I still have this on? The next one I have for you guys is, and you're gonna love me for this. I know like when I did it, people looked at me so weird, but it was such a great experience for me and that is, a tripod. Now, you definitely want to bring a tripod that has some sort of extension on it that like holds your phone. The reason why I say that is because when you're lying down for a certain amount of time, your hand gets tired from holding it. Whether you're getting an arm tattoo or a leg tattoo, you're in a weird position all the time. So the best thing to do is you just put the tripod up, you set it wherever you need to be, whether it's on the floor and you can tilt it up to your face or you can literally just have it sit on your lap and you literally can just have the movie play or whatever you're watching straight on you and you don't have to worry about holding it anymore. I definitely recommend that one. That was definitely one of my favorite ones to bring. So now that you think a tripod's a weird one, I got another weird one for you. And that is, you know, a lot of people deal with pain differently. I can't handle the pain that well. So I need something to distract me when the movies, the songs and everything else just isn't doing it. And that is bringing something that was like, you can squish and really just hold. This is just some ball I found. It's very good. I can squish it really hard when the pain is just, I can't stand it and I can't move. The only thing I can do is clench my fist and deal with the pain. It'll deal with all the damage you do to it and squeezing it. Definitely bring something like this. It'll help you guys big time. The last one I got for you guys, and it can't fit in a bag, but it's right in the back. It is a pillow. Those chairs get very uncomfortable very fast. I can't tell you how many times where I tell people, it's not even a tattoo that hurts after a while. It's my ass that is just so numb from sitting in the chair. So you can definitely use a pillow in some way to either put it under your butt, add extra cushion, or say you're getting something done on your side and you gotta lay on the chair on the side. You can put the pillow in between your leg, you can put it in under your under your hip, or even on just under your ribs or somewhere to help add to the posture and create a more comfortable position for yourself. Let me know guys if I missed anything that you guys that you should be bringing to a tattoo. I listed quite a bit and you know it just definitely makes the whole experience bringing all these things to your tattoo appointment so much more pleasant and enjoyable. Let me know if I missed anything. Give the video a big thumbs up if you think it brought you some knowledge or something that you didn't know before. 
And then also, you know, like I said, I got that tattoo coming very soon. Go and subscribe so you don't miss that or any future content. I hope you guys are being safe out there. Until next time, Justin out.